Thank you, Minister. Senator Seward. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, my question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Social Services, um, Senator Fifield. There are reports today that the government is considering reducing the waiting time for young job seekers to access income support on the earn and learn measures, um, reduce, and, and suggesting they're reducing it to one month rather than six months. Is, can I ask the Minister, is this correct? What period of time is the government considering, if they are considering reducing the amount? Um, of time, and is, has the government got the Palmer United Party's agreement to these changes? The Minister, the Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Fifield. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. I thank uh, Senator Seward for her question. Uh, as colleagues uh, would be uh, well aware, uh, in the budget we had uh, a number of measures uh, which were announced uh, in an effort uh, to help. Uh, Australians who are unemployed, particularly young unemployed Australians, uh, into work. Uh, Mr President, uh, we, uh, as with all budget measures, uh, are endeavouring to uh, secure uh, their passage uh, through uh, the parliament. Uh, I uh, understand, uh, Senator, that uh, obviously there will be speculation from time to time about uh, particular budget measures, uh, but all I can say to you is that uh, we are working to secure the passage of our budget measures through the parliament. Senator Seward, supplementary question. Does that mean, to, to the sorry, to you, Mr. President, does that mean that government is not um, considering reducing the cruel and harsh six-month waiting period where young people will have no income support? Does that mean the government is not at all considering um, to reduce that waiting period? Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, President. Uh, look, all, all I can really do is uh, restate to uh, colleagues uh, what the uh, budget measures were, uh, and that was namely from the 1st of January 2015. Young unemployed people aged 22 to 24 uh, will no longer be eligible, eligible for new start or sickness allowance. Instead, they will be eligible for youth allowance, student or youth allowance other, until they turn 25 years of age. And also that from the 1st of January 2015, all new job seekers up to 30 years of age, claiming new start and youth allowance other, will be subject to a six-month waiting period during which time the job seeker must demonstrate appropriate job search activities and must participate in employment support services. Um, after the six-month waiting period, uh, job seekers would be eligible to receive income support for six months, subject to participation in 25 hours per week of work for the Dole. Uh, job seekers uh, will uh, receive income support for six months in every 12-month period. Uh, that is uh, what was announced at the budget, uh, and that is uh, our policy. Senator Seward, final supplementary question. What evidence does the government have that putting people on no income support for any period of time, let alone six months, supports them into work, particularly given that the government has oft cited New Zealand evidence and New Zealand experts are saying, don't copy us. Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr President. Uh, I think it's important uh, in the context of Senator Seward's question uh, to point out that uh, there are uh, a number of uh, exceptions uh, to uh, what the government has announced. Uh, that if uh, an individual has a partial capacity to work less than 30 hours per week, uh, if Pause they're the in full point of order, Senator Seward. Order. I specifically asked not for a repeat because I've read them, not for a repeat of the measures, but what evidence that this works, please. Thank you, Senator Seward. The minister still has over half of his time to answer the question. I remind the minister of the question. Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. I was just going to mention a few other things, such as uh, exemptions applying if someone's an apprentice or in full-time education. I think they're, they're important exemptions uh, for people to be aware of. Uh, but, uh, Mr. President, uh, I can assure Senator Seward uh, and, and all colleagues uh, that uh, Every uh, policy that uh, we have announced, uh, particularly our budget measures, uh, is focused around doing what we can to help create an environment that is conducive to and pa supportive. Pause the clock. Senator Seward, a point of I, order. I know order you, on my left. I know that you gave the uh, Minister Firefield uh, latitude, but he's got 20 seconds when I stood up. He had 20 seconds left. Not once has he referred to the question I asked, which was about the evidence. Thank you, Senator Seward. I remind the minister that he has 17 seconds to answer the question. Minister. Uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Um, as I was saying, um, every, every decision that we take uh, is, uh, is based uh, on the understanding that uh, the measures that we put forward uh, will assist people into work. Um, why, why, would we, why would we put forward a measure uh, if we— Thank you, Minister. The time for answering the question has